Hello everyone, it's Rad. Welcome to Rad Gutaro channel and uh, <clears throat> this video is going to contain a, a general tarot reading and for that reason, as general tarot reading, the reading itself is going to relate to different subjects and situations and is going to manifest itself in a different way with every single different person. Now, in case uh, you are interested to know about specifically about your personal situation, uh, you can check out my website, uh, which is listed here in the display, or it is as well shown in the description of the video. And there you are going to find, visiting it, you are going to find on the very front page, full list of my services, as well as their pricing, starting from just as little as $12 for the recorded readings and uh, $15 for the private call readings. Apart from that, if you want to see me live or, you know, you want to contribute with an event on me, you can check out my Facebook page, which as well you can see here on the video or in the description down below and consider sharing and subscribing the video because this is a one-man operation and it, you, your, your support does uh, helps a lot. That being said, uh, I want you now to lay back comfortably and enjoy the show. All right, so this is going to be a Aquarius Sun, Aquarius Moon, and uh, Aquarius Rising weekly tarot reading for August, uh, monthly tarot reading, excuse me, for August a 2019. And bear with me a second, guys, to shuffle the tarot cards. <clears throat> and we are to jump uh, straight away into the reading. So the first card which stands for the topic of your Aquarius month, this is going to be the Wheel of Fortune, followed by the second card which represents the peripheral activities that you can go for should you decide to do so if you think it's worth the, it worth the hassle, that is going to be the Eight of Cups, followed by the third card which stands for the challenges that you need to overcome here, this is going to be the Page of Wands. Afterwards, what we do have, it is the positive aspect of the month, and that is going to be the Tree of Pentacles. <clears throat> and then at the end, which refers to the guidance that Saro is offering to you for the month of August, that will be the Judgment card. All right, so uh, quite often, and um, I would say interesting month uh, here for you guys, which, uh, how do I describe it? The month itself uh, is going to give you a lot of uh, proof of um, what you, and, and confirmation for that matter, you know, of what you need to do in your life for throughout the month of August. That is because the month itself is going to be classified as a, a very lucky month, a, a month where uh, there are going to be either a, a change of circumstances, you know, or a um, some sort of a, a once in a lifetime opportunity coming around here with the Wheel of Fortune and that will be the hint that uh, you need to take on, you know, and the tie that you need to ride um, in order to um, grow, you know, in regards to career and in, in regards to relationship life, life um, as well. So uh, let's run the cards one more down now. The first one, as we said, is going to be about the topic here. That is to be the Wheel of Fortune, followed by the second card, which refers to the peripheral activities that you can go for. That is to be the Eight of Cups. Afterwards, it is the Page of Wands, which represents the challenges that you need to overcome. Then uh, is going to be the positive aspect of the mountain. That is going to be the Tree of Pentacles. And finally, what we have it is the guidance that Tara is offering to you that is going to be the judgment. <clears throat> All right. So we were fortune, the look of the draw. We were fortune. It's about these very fortunate, um, almost mysteriously appearing circumstances that gives you exactly what you need in order to escalate your life to a greater height. That's why usually the Wheel of Fortune is considered the card that it is the messenger or rather like the uh, the prerequisite of a, like I said, once in a lifetime change or once in a lifetime opportunity that one can take. But the very least with the Wheel of Fortune as a topic of the month, whatever you are feel, feeling blocked in your life, all right, 
there are to be the means or the circumstances you require in order to stir that situation forward from now on and take a, a leading hand upon it. So it's like taking on the upper hand. You can uh, expect to be uh, busier and busier in regards to your career. And when we talk about relationships with these cards, with, with this card, well, you can expect quite of a passionate month especially if you are a single right now. The accompanied card here is going to be the, the King of Cups. So uh, formation is a active enemies. And uh, based, on the, uh, based on the appearance of these uh, means or circumstances, you will have no, no uh, you, you ain't gonna have a lot of time to think about it, all right? So you will have to take a decision should you make a move on them or not with a snap of your fingers otherwise otherwise you know this uh, these these opportunities are going to just go with the flow if i may express myself that way and uh, for one or another reason inactivity and rather indulgement into a a, a personal comfortable standpoint may it's not going to be advisable at least for throughout the month you have to understand that these couple of cards are highly contradicting one another what i mean is that while the king of uh, cups is very patient it is very uh, i would say balanced and always seeks the uh, the most how do you say it um, the way which lacks the most resistance all right the wheel of fortune here points that these circumstances are uh, are born through chaos and through chaos it is how you should proceed forward i hope that you get what i mean here but the point is that while the uh, the, the king prefers to act through inactivity and to wait right you have to grab the tide right now and to do and to make your move as soon as the circumstances of that moon arises throughout the month either you know being called for a, a date or uh, being offered a, a promotion out of frustration that someone else doesn't want it and etc etc this is a complete turn of events that gives you like i said the upper hand through the month of august so that leads us to the next card, which uh, stands for the peripheral activities here. And this is going to be the Eight of Cups. I'm going to draw the other card here, which is the Eight of uh, uh, the eight of Wands. So we do have double weights. We're definitely talking about then uh, about uh, we're definitely talking about a, a material gains with uh, that specific a um, combination of numbers and as well. A, uh, a strive toward more comfort and more security also with these couple of cards here it does look like more as a uh, mm, filling up the missing blanks or the missing spots uh, if I may express myself that way in the sense of that you know um, it's like I think that you wanted didn't happen back in the past, so big deal, you know, I mean, there are so much things that you are yet to explore, there are so much things that you are yet to accomplish, so the peripheral, uh, the peripheral activities here is to uh, fill up the missing blanks, for example, you parted with a good friend of yours on not very good terms, well then, it is time for you to make new friends, alright? Or uh, you drop off a certain hobby because it was not uh, was not that interesting anymore. Well, then it's time for you to find another hobby. All right, it is kind of like a uh, replacement of what does not work for you any longer on a much smaller scale than the wheel of fortune. It's it's giving you guys for throughout the month but like i said definitely this month is going to be very very lucky and if you are feeling deprived in any way either career wise or either relationship wise you need to have your readiness for action because it's it looks like that the month of august will give you exactly what you need in order to traverse or rather like to convert this um this position of disadvantage so the next card here, it stands for the challenges that you need to overcome. And we do have a person, page of wants. 
So that could be a, a messenger which gives you uh, a news, not necessarily unpleasant news, but for one or another reason right now, this news does not correlate very well with what you are after, you know, with the circumstances that you need to take advantage of. So this news itself, it acts as a distraction to... Um, according to your goals and according to your aims. Alternatively, this page could be a, a very selfish person in a sense of that they want to be uh, in the center of the universe. They want to be always the one who are praised in one's company, uh, you know, in one's social circle, in one's job, into one's uh, relationship as well. And they present themselves very tough and it's like there is nothing to bring them down. But in reality, inwardly, they are extremely, extremely fragile. So what's the problem with the page? Why it's challenging because the page thinks it's better than you are, right? And that could create a, a severe points of conflict, especially if you are, for example, partners into business or a um, co-workers which are working on the same project. But imagine if, you, if this is someone you like and this is someone you want to be with and they think that they are better than you are, right? So that's not really ideal. So uh, you, according to the month, you are to have the circumstances to prove them otherwise. Um, and the uh, accompanied card here is going to be the um, temperance. So formation, passive, uh, active supporters, excuse me. Uh, it looks like that uh, this page is going to be very difficult to acknowledge and to reach a certain, not only compromise, but as well, you know, to accept your point of view, although a different point of view. What I mean is that, you know, we are all different people. We are all different personalities. We all do have a differences in our points of view. And while you may not have my, my point of view, that does not stop you from respecting my point of view, right? So that's the problem with the page. The page does not respect your point of view because they don't see reason behind it. And the challenge itself is going to be for you to prove them wrong and to give them a reason behind it one way or another. With this page, it's going to be extremely challenging, but yet it's not something that you cannot overcome, especially if we're talking about a business partnership. We are seeing here a serious differentiates uh, differences into ideas. So take it that way. You have a, an extremely well aligned circumstances into your business. You see the opportunity there to exponentially skyrocket your business. You share that with your business partner, which is the page. And sadly, he doesn't see it that way, you know. So you need to spend a lot of time to make them see the, 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 the things and the situation uh, according to your vision. <clears throat> and uh, thankfully for that, we do have the positive aspect of the month, which is the Tree of Pentacles. So what the Tree of Pentacles is all about, it is a, it is a support through development. It is also a about criticism. It is also a about getting on the same page. So <clears throat> uh, basically this month, having a, a meaningful conversations and negotiations with the people who are not sharing your points of view actually is going to have a tremendous effect, right? And it's going to have a, a very beneficial and positive uh, outlook for the situation itself. And on top of that is going to open you for so much more uh, opportunities for you to take on advantage of moving on forward into the future because as Alistair Crowley displays the card, it is a the ocean of opportunity should you have what it takes to negotiate your way through it, all right? So you need to put your, not just only your communicational skills into play here, but also the ability for you to criticize, to say, no, I don't want it that way because it's stupid, because it's ineffective, because it doesn't serve me at all and it's not serve you either. So instead, why we don't just do the things in a little bit of a different way, which will have a more benefits and then, you know, support your statements with the right, uh, with the right proofs and with the right um, arguments. The accompanied card here is going to be the Four of Swords. 
So formation, it is a uh, active uh, passive enemies, excuse me, very peculiar uh, combination here, I would say, because these both cards are about deliberations and about conversations, but they do, they, they, but they are an enemies, okay? So what this car, these cards are right now saying, at least to me, for you, Aquarius, is that even though you may not be able to win the one you want uh, with your explanations and elaborations, you are going to win the crowd. And when you win the crowd, the one who is not convinced into your standpoint will have no choice but surrender, because when you win the crowd, you win everybody. Right or you win the situation itself. Okay, the one who has the crowd, the one who has the support of the people around, dictates the rules. So when you win the crowd, your business partner, for example, will have no choice but to succumb to your ideas. All right, when you win the crowd, your wife or your husband will have no choice but to listen to you unless they are not stubborn enough, you know, to just walk away, right? When you win the crowd, your supervisor will have no choice but to listen to you, okay? So this is what we are talking about here. Winning the crowd be a, a how do you say it? Um, it's, it's an art of Sophism. So Sophism, it's a, um, it's a, a psychology, psychology art of having an argument. So even though you may not be correct in regards to your argument and you are arguing with someone who is well um, <clears throat> expert, it has an expertise in the field that you are arguing, it does not matter. As long as you win the crowd, you know, it does not matter. And it's the same thing in court. You know, as long as you win the crowd, which is the jury, it doesn't matter if you are guilty or not. All right. Because they will always acquit you for what, for what you did because you won the crowd, right? So that is what, what you're going to have as a, a leverage throughout the month. Use it very wisely. And with the combination of the first couple of cards, which you are also going to have the circumstances on your side, well, you can get away with a lot, uh, to be honest, throughout the month of August 2019. So, yeah, like I said, use it wisely. And that leads us to the last card here, which stands for the um, <clears throat> guidance that Tarot is offering to you, uh, Aquarius. And this is going to be the judgment. So judgment as a guidance points that this is going to be a very decisive month, to be honest, to be honest a month which you are, like I said, get exactly what you need <clears throat> to finally make a strive toward, you know, your goal in general, toward your goal. Because the judgment is about the missing piece of the puzzle, which falls, which is falling into the puzzle itself, and it is building up the picture. It is like the shaft is now connected with the hub, and it's set in motion once again. The accompanied card here is going to be the seven of uh, the seven of swords formation. It is a, a pass, it is a active friends. Excuse me. So with the Seven of Swords and the Judgment, um, how do I describe it? Um, well, to be honest here with these couple of cards, Aquarius, is right now you need to rely only on your self-righteousness, right? And as I said, by winning the crowd and having, uh, having the circumstances on your side, well, that does seem that you are to be able to make everybody to fight your battle, which is a good thing. And on top of that, with this, uh, with, with this combination, uh, you will be able to win a lot as a guidance. So that being said, it's time, um, I think, to, to, to storm your world and to be aggressive and to uh, stand for your personal right, to show how strong backbone you do have, all right? <clears throat> and to demand for what you deserve. Because these couple of cards at the end, they point to that. You need to demand for what you deserve and to do what is necessary to get it. So that being said, Aquarius, this was your monthly tarot reading, August 2019. I hope you enjoyed it and you liked it, guys. And we're going to see each other next time. Until then, bye.